everyone and welcome back to another video. We are currently in the Sislaw... Sislaw? We are currently in the Sislaw Forest. We spent the night at Turnout because we were in town editing all day and we came out here just to get a good night's sleep. And we are on our way to the beach right now because we're going to spend the next two days on the coast before we head to Eugene where William is going to be having a vet appointment. So that's why I'm sort of sticking around Oregon is because of taking care of adult things like taking your dog to the vet and running other errands. Just a week or so now and we will be in the desert. But for now we are going to enjoy the beauty of the Oregon coast and the PNW and have a good time getting the Jeep situated and yeah, I just want to spend the next couple of days enjoying this beauty. We're really lucky to be getting a really nice weather window. Oftentimes it can be very cloudy and rainy here, but for the next few days it's going to be sunny. There'll be some clouds, some sun. It's going to be beautiful. Wow, hi, good morning, everybody. Um, I have a kind of funny story to tell. Maybe it's a little embarrassing. Um, <laughs> so last night I was parked up this beautiful forest road where it, that had been previously used for logging because it looked pretty ho heavily logged, probably like 30, 40 years ago or whatever. But I was parked up there and I was going to sleep and I heard a rustling noise and I don't know what it was like I, I thought at first I was like oh it's probably like a mouse or something or whatever I like started to make noise and stuff to try to scare whatever it was and it kept going and I was afraid that maybe there was a person out there or something so I ended up yeah, making a bunch of noise in the car to make whatever it was know that I was there, if it was an animal or human. And I was like, just to be safe, I left the campsite at like 11. It was this beautiful remote spot. I was going to get some really cool drone shots. I was going to get some cool shots of the Jeep going this down this really steep 4x4 um, driveway thing. It, it was pretty cool. I had to like 4x4 up there and I was having a good time. It was on the edge of a steep cliff. Like, it was beautiful. But then as I was leaving, it was really strange. There was a car that like drove by. I was out in the middle of like nowhere. Like, somewhere to me it was somewhere to me i don't like saying the middle of nowhere because it's not nowhere but <laughs> somebody drove by this was at like almost this was like 11 p.m it drove by stopped down the road like 200 feet from where i was parked and just like stayed there and maybe they were probably wanting my spot because they saw i was leaving but i mean this was a weekday this was on a wednesday in the middle of nature like way back down like three or four miles down a back road I just did not feel safe so I left, I had to go down this like really steep muddy thing on the side of a cliff in the middle of the night and I came to this campsite at like 12 in the morning because I was like I need a good night's sleep, better safe than sorry. I called my mom and she's like yeah that's pretty sus, that's weird, it's better safe than sorry. This is the part that makes me kind of feel dumb, um, I'm going to show you. So you may remember from the Jeep build video, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's very fun. Um, Adam, when I first drove up, noticed that there was a rodent nest, most likely a mouse, under my cover. And I think that's probably what was r rustling around last night. 
yeah, that's definitely what it was. And then there was like, when I opened this up earlier um, to look at it, there was like a sunflower seed just like open sitting right there. You know, better safe than sorry. Like, I think for me, it was like the risk assessment of like, okay, I'm in the middle of nowhere. I have a Garmin satellite communicator, so I could contact someone if it was, there was a problem, but like, if it had been like a human like messing with my Jeep or doing something weird, like, I don't know, I watch lots of scary movies and like horror stuff, I love that stuff, but it gets into your head and I was like, okay, I'm alone. I don't have any, like, I don't have like a firearm or a taser or any of that stuff to kind of defend myself. So I was like, better safe than sorry if it is a human, they're gone, but I'm gonna leave so that they don't keep messing with me. Like, you just really never know. Yeah, this is probably the first scary thing that has happened in like two years to me, um, but it turns out it was just a mouse. They freaking love that part of my Jeep. I need to figure out a way to deter these things because they're everywhere. Alright, next issue. I don't, it looks like there's some exposed wire there. Just checking out these things. So I'm going to put some electrical tape on it and hope that it does the trick. Well, that will hold it over and make sure that the wires don't get corroded and stuff until I can take it to a mechanic. I can look at it. Well guys, so we went to town. <laughs> We're in Florence, Oregon right now and I'm doing some laundry and I'm gonna take a shower to reset myself because uh, yeah, last night was a doozy. Liam is so cuddly. He's been cuddling with me all day. We're so cuddly. So do some laundry, reset everything, take a shower, and then we're gonna go to the beach probably or to the sand dunes. That'd be kind of fun, huh, Liam? Go check that out. And then find a camping spot, which hopefully we can get a good night's sleep at tonight. Well, this place has showers too, so I'm gonna take a shower. Eight minutes. For four dollars. Yeah, this will definitely wash off the rough night that I had. Nothing like a shower after a week. Maybe day, same outfit as always. I just have to wear the same things. Alrighty, well, we tried to go on this trail that I wanted to do, but they wanted to charge eight dollars to go on this trail. I don't have a National Parks card currently, and um, there's really no where to buy one, so. I just figure like it's, you know, eight bucks I could buy a burrito. Well, I finally found a place to have lunch and have some leftovers with some Alaskan hot sauce, some chips, chilling. We're going to go hang out on the beach in a sec. Then find a little spot to sleep tonight and then head to the city for William's appointment. I'm just exhausted right now. Welcome to Hasita Beach. It's a beautiful day. Got some food in my belly, so I feel a lot better. I think I was hangry there for a second. <laughs> I used to let William off his leash, off leash at the beach when I was able to. But one time, here in Oregon, um, on a beach not too far from here, I let him go off leash and he ran to the water. And he jumped in the waves and he was like surfing the waves. I swear it was the happiest day of his life. It was the scariest day of my life because, you I mean, you can get riptides and stuff happen out here and so I had to go like waist deep into the water to try to get him and he kept going out further and further but like he had the biggest smile on his face ever he was the happiest dog so I don't let him off leash anymore at the beach because it because he might do that I swear if he didn't have me as a parent or somebody looking after him I don't think he would make it he loves the water though so so whenever we're at like a nice river or a lake or something where it's safe for him to swim, I let him off leash and swim and stuff, but not at the ocean, not here on the Oregon coast. Wow, well, yeah, this is quite the contrast from up in Alaska this winter. Wow, it's really nice. I'm, I'm 
really enjoy getting some good sun. <laughs> Maybe my melanin will activate. Melanin, activate, activate, activate. <laughs> Look at them, we're listening to this beautiful grass. I don't know if you can see it too, but the moon. I still haven't figured out how to zoom with my GoPro, but there's a half moon over there. Can't complain. You know, I feel like road life is just like super extreme. There's like really, really high moments like this where it's just so nice it's like the middle of the day on a Thursday and I'm enjoying some sun on the beach with my dog and laying on some driftwood but then there are like the moments like last night where it's just like super scary like if you're a per if you like extremes I highly recommend road life <laughs> uh, yeah it's definitely I'd say this is also this is also like more intense travel because I'm moving every single day going to a new spot um, just because I'm trying to keep it moving to get the mileage on my car and also I have the stuff that I have to do so it'll be really nice once we get down to the it's nice now but it'll be even more chill once we have the platform and the bed all built this weekend and I get everything situated and we're down in the desert where it's warmer and the weather gets better because spring is coming. I think things will become a lot more easy. I think this is just like one of those transition times right now where just things are kind of exhausting if I'm being honest. Um, but like I said, I can't really complain because it's like, this is this is the dream. I'm, I'm loving it. I, I love most moments, except for the moments where you feel like you're in danger. But. but then also at the same time, I live for that kind of high. It's weird. It's like, I need that adrenaline rush. Oh my God, I'm an adrenaline junkie. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Uh, I'm just gonna lay here for a bit longer, enjoy the sun. And then we'll go find a place to camp out. But this is super nice. I might even just stay here at the beach for the rest of the day. Oh my god, he's crazy. Go, it's over there, buddy. No, look, William, look. Over there. That's not the toy. Look, it's right there. Welcome everyone to another day on the road. Do not mind how messy the back of the Jeep is. Last night we slept in the city because I'm taking William to the vet today. So I currently have a lot of stuff in the back. Finally got a case for the diesel heater. Um, yeah, I think it's time that I build this platform. So I'm sitting here at the hardware store, just doing some math here, how I'm gonna build this platform. There's a guy on YouTube who makes videos. His name is Cheaper Jeeper TV. And I'm basically gonna use his plan for the measurements for the most part, other than it's gonna be taller because I need more space for my refrigerator. So um, I'm trying to work out the math here to utilize the plywood and not have as much extra. I mean, worst case scenario, I can build some other stuff with the extra plywood, but I'm trying to keep it, you know, low because I the weight I specifically wanna make sure isn't too much. I mean, I took the seats out, so that helps, but I want it to be pretty lightweight and simple. I took William to the vet and he's got to have a lot of work done on his teeth next week. So yeah, we're going to just hang out here in Oregon until that's done and I'll build this platform, go out to the forest. It's a nice sunny day. And then, yeah, hopefully by the time we leave Oregon, we will have the platform done. We're gonna go visit Prepped Overland again to um, have our inspection done and have a couple other things added that I added on <laughs> to the Jeep. And then we'll be headed to the desert. But for now, I'm gonna get this platform done so I can just stop thinking about it. I can move on and have everything stored really neatly and like functionally in the back. Cause currently I feel like I'm living in chaos. <laughs> it's really not fun. All right, I think I figured it out. Double check my math. Hopefully I can find a four by four set piece of plywood so I don't have to buy a whole four by eight foot one. But if we have to, it'll be extra project wood. 
for some other projects in here potentially. And yeah, check my math actually on this one. Right. We're going. Oh. Trying to find somebody to help me. Edemois, someone help me. There's nobody around. I can't carry this plywood on my own. Damn. I got her wood cut. Time to go build. Y'all, you're not gonna believe this beautiful spot. There's a bit of trash everywhere, but you know, we'll leave it better than we found it. <laughs> it's caught on its own little stream. We got our work cut out for us. <laughs> uh, we got a lot of building to do. All right, so we have about two hours of daylight left. I think I'm not gonna start building now. Uh, I don't think that rain is forecasted until tomorrow evening, so. I'm just going to put all of the wood under the jeep for tonight and hope that it doesn't rain and build tomorrow morning when I'm rested and I can like, take my time because I don't want to mess those up. I only have a certain amount of pre-cut boards, so... It is pretty disappointing when you get to a campsite and there's a ton of trash everywhere, but I'm going to just go in and clean up as much of it as I can just so my space is nice and it's nice for the next person. Um, yeah, it's pretty disappointing. There's like cans and, and aluminum foil wrapped there for Yeah. Using a poop bag. <laughs> it's my glove. Also, another pretty exciting development. I don't know if I've said anything about it, but I got a diesel heater. And I have now a diesel heater box. I'm making a diesel heater box. A box teeter. And yeah, then I'm gonna mount it up here too. That girl's getting stuff done. Yeah, here's the road that I came up. Nothing too wild. <laughs> I'm still like nervous about driving alone down super, super crazy roads. Also, I like needed a spot that was easy to get to today because I was tired. Why am I explaining myself? I'm gonna explain myself in the middle of the forest. I love it. William had blood drawn today at the vet. I should take that off. <laughs> you look like a wounded dog. It's amazing, like, when I find a camp spot and I park up, I feel so good and I know I can, I like, I can breathe again. It's like the anxiety is lifted of like having to find a spot and go up roads that I don't know and then like, oh, you made it to camp. I bet a bunch of you guys know that feeling too, but it's, the spot feels really good and I'm really excited to spend the whole weekend here. It's the weekend, no emails, no phone calls, I'm out of service. <sighs> Life's good. This is why I do this. All of the all of the moments where things are rough or I have to sleep in the city and all of that always end up to a point like this where you're rested and you found an amazing camp spot. I can't wait to share this with you guys. I think I'm gonna start sharing my coordinates with everybody on Patreon and like I need to figure out, I need to start taking really good photos of each place and putting them on Patreon and like coordinates and giving you guys advice about the area and stuff. That'd be kind of a cool thing to do. This child must assume his manhood, Haddock thought. How soon he must read that form within his mind, that contract of brutal caution. All right, so I'm about to go to bed, but there's something I haven't tried yet. Um, that I want to try, and that is to turn on my KC headlights. Let's try them out. Oh my god. You can see everything. I can drive anywhere, anywhere I want in the dark now. Yeah, I just haven't tried them because I've just been so preoccupied with, like, trying to, like, survive. <laughs> I haven't tried all this stuff out yet, which I'm really excited now. I feel like things really, I'm starting to get settled in and I'm so excited to use those. Like the practical use of that is definitely like if I need to get down a trail or something late at night, or if I'm getting to a, you know, a remote spot really late, um, when it's dark, William is drooling all over. <laughs> getting that good sleep boy. 
yeah the practical use of that would is going to be like in emergencies when i need to get somewhere in the dark or um if i'm getting to a campsite really late or i mean i guess there's some impractical uses of it too like if i just want to like go wheeling with people late at night like you really never know um and besides the fact it they just are very cool classic looking <sighs> headlight headlight strip bar <laughs> words <laughs> anyways it's only like it's like 7 41 i'll tell you when you're somewhere quiet with the stream running in the background and you've been running around all week and you just want to rest in one spot um I'll tell you that is the bomb like the bomb.com is to go to bed at like eight and then wake up sleep in and oh, feel really rested i wake up in the morning so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go sleep because tomorrow we build well good morning everyone um it is a beautiful sunny day i'm um, being extra dramatic wearing my super arctic jacket this morning. I just like to feel like I'm inside a sleeping bag all day. I got my pajamas on, but today we are going to start building out the inside, the interior of the Jeep. Hopefully I can finish it today. It was a beautiful day. I need to take advantage of it. I've cleared everything out of the Jeep, moved most of the stuff to the front, and there's some stuff out here. It's quite messy out here, not gonna lie, but I have my fuels, my batteries, all, all of the things I need. I'm pretty sure, and I'm gonna just get started here. See what path this leads us down today. <laughs> Stuff just laying out. <laughs> I like to think it's pretty spacious in this Jeep. It's just about organizing everything in a way that makes sense. So that was like, oh, that was like incredible. Um, I still have to cut all of the little notches in order to match the board together, but um, hello, like this took me like 30 minutes. Um, and I'm test fitting everything to make sure it's like how I want it to be. And, yeah, there's a pop there. <laughs> so yeah, um, Cheaper Jeeper TV, the, I got these plans from, he cuts out extra holes here for headrests for the for the seats if you wanted to have the seats in there but since I'm trying to maximize my storage space I'm not gonna have that I need to make little uh, I need to make little beam posts here to make sure that it all stays good but I'm just kind of test fitting everything to see how it is and I might have effed up on this spot part at the hardware store so what I'm gonna do is cut this down in half to where these end so that I can just kind of keep those in place. I might just fasten it in place. I mean, all of this I need to fasten in for safety, but uh, I'm gonna cut here and then make it so that it goes all the way to the edges there for more space. But super simple, easy build. Um, I love it. After doing two other builds, I'm just like simple. Simple is key. The fridge fits in here nicely. I have some bolts I need to put in there better, but uh, basically what I'm going to do is figure out a little hatch door thing. Um, and maybe I'll cut this in half and make it so I can easily access the fridge. Because, you know, currently you can't. So there's just like some minor details and, and um, innovations that I need to make. But yeah, here's the general idea. Well, it's looking like it's going to rain here soon. I'm pretty sure that it's going to start raining on the field. So I'm just kind of finishing the general idea of this. I decided I'm going to use some fasteners um, to screw this through and um, the wood together permanently. I can't really do much more on this, um, which is okay, because then I can try out the platform and kind of figure out what, how I want them to be positioned and like. Yeah, it's good to just try things out a little bit. I mean, it, it's my excuse for not finishing it. Rest for the rest of the day, and then tomorrow hopefully it'll be a nice clear day again. And we will do some
customer building.